stamping up and I am just going YouTube. I was trying YouTube and Facebook at the same time and um, it didn't work. So that's okay. We are going to go live here on YouTube only then because I am dying to show you our new stuff. So I know I had a few of you on and it just gave me an error. So hopefully you're jumping back on. I'll wait just a minute, but I'm super excited to show you the new stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I know that you're going to be switching over and I have a lot to show you. So I participated in on stage with Stamping Up. And so what it was, was we were able to go and it was called On Stage at Home. So demonstrators got to go and participate. Hi to Shauna. And um, finally my UPS man came at a decent time. I was so happy. So we got to participate and those that got to participate were able to order the uh, premiere items early. And so I ordered, of course, right away and I received them today. And so regular demonstrators are able to order in December and customers can order in January. But if you would like to join my team, I'd love it. And then you can also order the beginning of December. And let me just tell you, there are so many fun things that you guys are going to want. I'm super excited to share this with you. Yeah, um, Stephanie just messaged. I did have a little bit of problem connecting with YouTube again, but I was trying to do YouTube and Facebook at the same time. And I don't know if my third party allows me to do that. I don't think I've tried before. So um, let's get started. I'm super excited to show you guys. Um, a couple tips I'm going to tell you. Number one, I cannot open the catalog, but I have a lot of product to show you. So don't worry about that. I will tell you what's in here. Um, and give you some other little ideas of what's coming. Okay, so let's get started. I'm so excited. Uh, it looks like, okay, so here is the front of the catalog. That gives you a little bit of hint of what's coming. Um, in this YouTube, because I had troubles yesterday, there's nothing in the description below right now, but there will be soon. And it looks like YouTube just kicked me off again on my phone. That doesn't mean I got kicked off on here because yesterday the same thing happened and I kept going live. So I don't know why YouTube, uh, from what I understand, a lot of other people had issues also. So hang in there with me and we'll just keep going. All right. So here is what the mini catalog looks like. If you guys are still here, say hi because... It just gave me a glitch. I want to make sure. And then we also have the. Okay, good. Thank you. I don't know why it just kicked me off and said, oh, here's your next video. And Carol, refresh. Maybe hopefully you're, you can still hear me, but not see me, but refresh. Um, so we have the celebration too, and I can show you what's on here. And I'll go into that a little more later and the things on the back of the catalog. So you can see more details. Okay, so first thing I want to tell you really quickly is on my blog, which is marcybessaker.com, on the right-hand side, I talk about my Stampin' Stores. You're going to see these right now. I'm going to show you, and you see them in every video. But this is the one I use, the 6x7 Magnetic. Right before, below my shopping on the right-hand side, you're going to see a link there because I am an affiliate with Stampin' Storage. And so everything that you see that is wooden behind me, like my paper trays, my ink, all that kind of stuff, that's all stamp and storage. Now my, and I do have my punches over here and then I have a shelf here. My husband actually made to kind of match to put my, my, um, stamps in. So, um, I get asked a lot about this. So I just wanted to show you, oh good, Carol, I'm glad. Hi Donna, welcome. So I wanted to um, just tell you that's where you find them. I do the six by seven. It, it does come with labels in there, but I actually use my label maker. All right, on to the more important things. Okay, so first we have the Simply Succulents. And this is so pretty. I love the font. I love the messages, the sentiments and this this curvy kind of more modern font is just, I love it. It has a pot. It just looks so easy to color and it is going to be 
fabulous. Um, I will try to give you prices. I don't know the catalog very well, Bonnie, but um, I will, I will, you know what I'm going to do is I will be creating with this today. So tomorrow on my video at um, two o'clock, I will write down prices of everything that I am creating with. And so um, I'm just at a glance. I can't find it really quickly, but, and I know some people are on their lunch hours, so I am just going to continue on. And, oh, wait, there's a page here with all the bundles. Oh, how amazing is that? Okay, so on the back of the catalog, which I can't show you, there is the whole bundle, and it tells me. Okay, so if you guys have a pen and paper, I can give you the price and what page it's on, so when you're ready. Okay, Cindy, hopefully it's working better now. Thanks, everybody. Hi, Ransom, Bonnie, and Felicia, Cindy. Oh, I'm so happy you guys have made it today. Okay, let's get busy. I know some people are on lunch hour. Okay, so the succulent one is page 39, and the bundle is $54.75. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I'm supposed to be giving the prices, actually. I heard somebody else mention that, so I'm not going to anymore. Sorry. I think somebody said, I think I remember somebody saying that they weren't sure we could, so I'm not going to. But um, I think they're reasonable for what you're getting. So let me show you. Um, you're going to get this beautiful set. You're going to get the dies. Now, I'm keeping this here because I don't have my labels on yet. I just wanted it to be a little easier to show you. Um, so these are called potted succulent dies. So you're going to get the dies to go with the images. You get two of the little ones, which is really nice. I did too. Donna, I ordered Thursday night. And I was hoping for them on Saturday, but apparently um, they don't overnight on the weekend. So uh, lesson learned there. Uh, okay, so this is aloe vera. And this is, I think it's called the um, the pearls, pearls um, succulent. But look at, there's four labels in there that match the sentiments perfectly. There's an aloe vera. There's two of the little ones. Um, and then this looks like it's the outline that you can put over the little one. So how cool is that? Oh, wait, I'm not done. Hold on. Oh, Jan. Oh, good. Thank you. All right, but look at this. La, la, la. So this you can use as a stencil. And it's also a die. So there's a lot that you can do with this. So pretty. My daughter is loving plants right now and she crosses them and does all kinds of stuff and has a greenhouse. And I think she'll really like this set to create something with. Sorry, you guys, I have kind of a cold today. Every time I do my nails, I don't know if it's the chemicals or what, but it's full blown allergies or something. I don't know. All right. So that's set number one. Set number two, I think it's perfect for Father's Day, for just the man in your life. It's a great birthday. Have a happy Father's Day, handsome. You could also take that off if it's for, you know, somebody that you don't really want to call handsome. I think that is kind of cool. You can just take that off. Um, you could just use the Father's Day. There's all kinds. To one of the greatest, uh, world's greatest dads. You're the best. Look at the bow ties. How cute. And the long ties so cute um i think this is a really good versatile stamp this is red rubber let me back up same as the succulents all right and then look at this so you can have your lapels your v-neck shirts this is for suspenders you've got your buttons you've got a pocket you've got two um, this is for this bend, so you could do this in silver, like the top of the suspenders. And then these are like the little clasps at the bottom. So much that you can do. I love it. This is for like the lapel. I think you could corner, you know, round these for like a, a woman's or a little girl's top or something and cuffs. I mean, there's so much to do with this. So, so cute. You could also cut this out and I think... And pop it up on your if you wanted to do a print on there or a different pattern or whatever and pop it up on your pocket there's just a lot to do so cute 
So this is, I think, a really great guy set. There's some guy sets out there that once they're gone, people are like, I need to get, I have to have that die set. Yes, they did on stage. They did, thanks, Carol. They did a, um, a dress and like in a lace and they did the embossing, um, the ornate embossing folder and they really made it really pretty for the wedding gown. And then they did the, like a tux for the guy or the suit. It was so cute. Very creative. And I'm sure those pictures are going to be coming out eventually. So this is flo floating and fluttering. And I know I'm trying to go fast. There's people on lunch and I just thought I'd try to get it out here. Um, so floating and fluttering. I like that we have the label here and their polymer, which is really nice. So it's helpful to line them up and add our shadowing or shading um, on our images. There's some little leaves. So that right here goes with this one. And then this goes here, this goes here. So you can kind of see they all kind of go together. And then we have the leaves down here that this goes to, both of them. So that's fantastic. Here's the die. So this one is kind of like the one we have, but in a smaller version. And there's two, look at that. Two, so if you're making a lot of cards, I'm looking and these are exactly the same. So there's two, they both cut out. So that helps you with a lot of stamping. And then we have, and that'd be a great background to add these things on top of. And then we can die cut out. We have the little leaves, the other little leaves. And again, we have our label. You know what, Tashana, me too. I was kind of debating on this one because I already have that the other big um, butterfly one, but I got this one for free. So when I put my order in, um, it ended up being my free one. So I was like, I've been wanting to play with it. I think it'll be really cute with your um, butterflies like coming out of your label or around it. I think it'll be kind of fun to play with. This one is so cool. So here we have mini messages. So let me hold it up so you can see all the messages. The little ones are sending a smile your way. Thinking of you with sympathy and prayers. I love that. Um, hoping your day is full of love, laughter, and joy. So happy to hear of your exciting news. Congratulations. Thank you ever so much. Your kindness means more than you could ever imagine. Oh, happy day. Look at this. Look how tiny. Hi there. How cute is that? And I have a perfect stamp set for that to go with. And I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh yeah, Deborah, they're, they're, you have to have those. Those are the best things I've ever done. I have done a lot of storage for my dies. I did the Avery L. I've done, you know, different pouches, different ways. I've had them when I was with Stamping Up before I had them in here. And I just now with the, the, um, now the way with the dies are. So for example, on here, look at these four labels if i had this hidden inside this stamp set i would never even think about the labels being in there oh donna that's what i'm going to show you next so that is why i decided to put them separate so when i'm flipping through i can see these and pull them because if they're in the stamp set i'm really only going to use it for that stamp set so this is why it's so much better Yes, Donna, here it is. Tashana, you're right. One die. So the secret to this is I've used um, something like this before. See the stars on here, which is another brilliant idea. The stars cut out. But that is where you're going to align it. And of course, it's not going to align on here. So let me show you. You are going to align. It's going to go like this your stars up and your heart. So there's a heart here. There's a star, a star and a star. So as long as those align when you're die cutting, your images should come out perfectly. And so if you look right here, it's going to look, let me find my little pointy tool. If you look right here, it's going to look like your H is going to be cut off right there. 
but look at, you still have this space right here. I hope you can see what I'm talking about. You still have this space right here on the metal. The, the die cut is a little forward. So you're actually not going to cut your H off. So just make sure you have your little star and everything aligned and it, it should not cut off. And I will be demonstrating a lot of things tomorrow on my video. So I'm just going to, I just wanted to show you the items today. I'm going to be playing with stuff today and then um, give you a better review of everything and some tips and tricks tomorrow. So that'll be at two o'clock Pacific time. I'm in California. So um, two o'clock. All right, so that's our mini messages. Okay. Oh, let me back up. I forgot the paper, guys. Here is the paper for the the man, um, the masculine set with the handsomely suited. Okay, so here's the paper. And look how gorgeous this is. It is a perfect, a perfect set. Now, you know I'm going to love it, chop it. So let's just show you, which means I need to buy more. So I, oh, I did buy more. I have another pile. Okay, so look at, we have Paisley. And then these are like little dots. And then the stripe. So this, remember, this is for shirts or pinstripe. Look at that. That's a beautiful wedding groom. The flowers is really cute for a shirt with a little pocket. Or a, this is like a v-neck, like a sweater. I mean, there's so much. I thought of you, Donna. I thought, oh, how could, I mean, I'm glued to the TV when I'm watching all the illustrations. Luckily, we can go back and look at everything. So that's good. But look at how nice all this is. Like this would be a great tie um, print. And look at, we've got the tweed. Yeah, this is great DSP. This reminds me of the other one. Uh, what is it? The timeless one that it just has all the textures and stuff. I mean, this I think is going to be a really great set. Backgrounds or for the dyes or whatever. So that'll be a lot of fun. All right. And when I say I have extra, because you know, um, if you're a demonstrator, you're allowed to buy so many on the pre-order. Normally on consumables, you can get three. Um, so the papers, the ribbons, that kind of thing. Which reminds me, I have to pull out the ribbon. to show. Oh, and then you also get the twine. I forgot. So we have the bait. I think it's basic gray. Let's see if it says on here. No, I'd have to look it up. I think it's, I'm guessing it's the basic gray and the Knight of Navy. So that is um, also a great addition to the, to that set. Okay. I'm getting down to a couple things. So one of the things that I forgot to add to my order is we already, and I have another favorite to show you, so don't go anywhere because that's the biggest one that I'm just so excited about. The Dragonfly Garden is one of the ones we got to order early and we used this on stage. So I have, I'll show you some samples tomorrow on my live video. And then my DSP I've showed before that I like to create, well, I'll take my mess out because look at, you see I've used it. Um, I like to create these little boxes and I have a video on that, and I think it's linked. Uh, well, I don't know about this one because this was kind of impromptu, but I'll link it here. And it shows you, I keep my colors and everything here in the name of it, but I like to put it in the front. And so it comes with this paper, but there's also a set that has, um, can I demo order now like today? No, Francis, on, um, in December, the beginning, I think the first week of December you can. Um, this was for on stage we were able to. So... There's another set that goes with this um, that has like dandelions and they layer up and they're so cute. And then there's the dandelion that just kind of like looks like it sprays and it's just adorable. So um, I don't know how I missed it, but probably because it was the first thing on my list. But then, of course, you get the, the little ladybug trinket. So these little ladybugs go right on your card. Okay, so there's those. So that all came with this. We were able to order early. One of the other things they have now that we were able to just order, and this is size six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And so metrics, let me tell you what it is. It is 
looks like 16 by almost almost 16 almost 11. I do not know metrics but I hope that helps and but look at you get the cards and then you get the the envelopes that are already done and you get the inside flap how cute are those So those are really cute, and you get 20 of them, okay? So 20 of the cards and envelopes. So that's exciting. So we're just going to slide that back in so I don't lose it. But I think with the Dragonfly set and the, uh, the other stuff is going to be, yes, it is, Bonnie, bigger than an A2. Yep. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm moving on to my favorite, I think. I think this is my favorite. So I'm gonna show you the stamp set. It's called Art Gallery. And before I go on, I know I, I did have somebody ask me if it's a lot of flowers in this catalog. There are a lot of flowers in the catalog. However, there is an ice cream set to just die for. There is a seashell set that is spectacular. It It's very, very different and it's gorgeous. That There's a dye and there's so much, I can't even go over that. There's a little wiener dog set, a little dachshund set. Um, there's, just let me glance, there's a kangaroo set. There's a lot of valentines. There's a flamingo. Uh, there's a little shark set and it says do, 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 like daddy shark, so cute. Um, there's like a windmill, like it's called open range and there's like a horse. Um, uh, there's a snail mail set. It's got a little snail, adorable. The cutest little snail you've ever seen. And there's just so much more. There's a children's set called baby pool. It's got a little lion. Oh, there's a, a grandparent set and it's, um, treasures of life. It's absolutely gorgeous so okay that's all I can say oh the ice cream set is so cute you're right and the shell set oh oh okay I was so sad that wasn't on pre-order because that was like right up there with this one because I love them both okay so on to my favorite I love this one they showed it online with gold foil we're going to be getting gold foil now not the gold foil you're thinking of i'm talking about the airy foil and i have a lot of it i used to do affiliate links i've used it before i love it love it love it the only thing is is the heat um the heat sticking oh what's it called again i'm just totally losing it the heat sticking oh i lost the name we used to have it before Anyway, it has, um, it's coming back so we can use it. It's the gilded foil. Yes. But what's the heat and stick heat and stick? I think is what it's called. Yeah. So it's the gilded gold leaf foil. That is it. And the heat and stick is coming back. So what you do is you use your Versamark, you use this heat and stick embossing powder that's kind of sticky and then you put your foil on it so as soon as i get my heat and stick powder i will uh, show you how to do it um because it's amazing yes heat and stick powder thank you everybody i used it so long ago i could i just couldn't remember okay so art gallery so let me show you some beautiful dyes so the dyes here this says just want to say and so they're individual words, just want to say, so you could, you know, put them wherever you want them. And then happy birthday. Good luck. I miss you. Congratulations. Sorry. Thank you. Best wishes. You are lovely. And I'm thinking of you. I mean, what a great sentiment to have. And so you can just put that on your card if you want and do your sentiment, or you can just choose the smaller ones. Look at these dies. So you can do congratulations. You can do, well, it's hard with both of them on here. There we go. I'm thinking of you. And then you have the smaller one that would probably be like good luck. So you can cut those out. Hi, Chris. 
Okay, and then you have your flowers. And so these are a two-step. So we have these two. And then we have this one. And I believe this one goes with this. Um, I, I'm, I'll be playing with it um, very shortly. So that's this one. Here's the dies. I got I'm gonna have to label make all my stuff up here soon. But that is not all, you guys. There's so much more with this set. First, I want to show you the DSP. And this DSP is hand painted. So this is hand painted pictures. All right. So let's see if you can see the hand paint. I'm going to see if I can get close. I took my darn autofocus off, so it should be okay. But it looks like it's hand painted. Oh, Vey, it's easy. Um, watch me tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow on the video for you. Okay, and then we have just some, like, it looks like gesso. If you guys have used gesso, who's used gesso? That's what it's like. So it's like gesso. So you get two of those. By the way, I'd love it if you guys subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And then um, my blog is marcybessaker.com. Deborah, hi, welcome. Look how pretty that is. And they all look like they are painted like with a palette. You can see like the palette lines in there, you know, with your, with your palette. It's just so pretty. And then the other side has the yellow. Look at this one. I can see cutting this one out and just popping it on a card. So beautiful. I'm trying to I'm trying to do two at a time here, but it's not working. Okay, so there's the other side. Look how pretty that is. I think Sarah said this one was her favorite. Shelly liked the lighter colors, the more pinks and blushes. Look at that background. Look how pretty that is. Oh, wait until you guys see the DSP for the ice cream. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, now I'm going to have to take these out. I'm going to be cutting, chopping, cutting anyway. So let me show you this. Look how pretty that is. So if you're a scrapbooker, that would be really pretty. But it's also going to make beautiful cards. I can see this corner right here. If it's a leftover that you don't want to use on your flower card, um, part of that being maybe with the whale done as the water, the background, look at that. See, that's what I mean. This is the texture, what it looks like underneath the flowers images. It's stunning, Arlene. Oh, Deborah, I do too. You get such an amazing result. Okay, so there's that. Look at this one. So pretty. Look at the back. That reminds me of um, Sherbert ice cream. That might end up on an ice cream card. Although the DSP for the ice cream is something else. Okay, so I'm going to leave this out here to show you something else. You're not going to believe this. So we have Golden Garden Design Specialty Acetate Paper. So let me open that up for you, which I'll be loving and chopping because I've got four packages. Okay. So this one, I'm going to have to find out where it goes. But the, it overlays, and I should have tested this, but I was trying so quickly to get the cart, get the uh, images off to you guys so you could see. So let's see. I think it's the one in the back, this one. So look at this. It aligns. Oops, I got two papers. It aligns on top of the paper. Look how pretty that is. Now that I don't think I've seen. That is absolutely stunning. 
these are my colors. This is so pretty. And then I believe, I'm gonna say these are my colors. I just love them both. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna move this over here. Now somebody said, no, it's not this one. I thought somebody said it went over two of them, but I don't, I don't think so. I think it just goes over one. I thought I saw somebody say it goes over two, but I don't think it does. It is unique. Let's see. But that being said, we have two other ones. So we have this. Oh, good. It shows up really good. Yes, Tashana, I'm going to do that. Oops, let's see. There we go. Okay, maybe this is one that goes over one. Let's just test it out. It's not this one. I want to see if it goes over. I think, I think this would be, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. I think it's this one. Yep, look at that. So these are the two papers that they go over. This one and this one. So look how pretty those are. And yes, Tashana just mentioned there is a film on here. I'm going to leave it on. It's protecting your gold. But if I can... I mean, it's so thin, they said, that it's hard to even know it's on there. You can kind of feel it. How many sheets in a pack? I think it's just three. Yes, three. So you're going to get this one, this one, and then this, this one. No, three designs. So this paper is the one that goes, this gold goes on this one. Okay, so again, this is your acetate here. And then we have this one. So remember, it's these two. And then we have this one, which, I mean, I think you could put it over just to add color, add a different texture to it. Or I think it would be really fun like this. You're still adding your color in the background, but you're still going to have that pop. Like, look at this. And you're still going to be adding, you know, texture and just fun stuff. You know how I am. I like the texture. I like the layering. I like all that. All right. So there is a film on there. I can't get it off right now, which is a good thing because it's going to protect your gold uh, when you do cut it and uh, cut it, chop it. And this, I think, would make really cute boxes, too, to make your little boxes for your acetate. Okay, but I'm not done. So let me try and rush and put this aside. Put this back. All right. I love this paper. So imagine this. You've got this paper. You're getting ready to make a card. And you're either going to be using... Hi, Sherry. You're going to be using your paper. And you know in person how it's just going to look completely different when you use the embossing folder. So this embossing folder is called Painted Texture. And the texture that you see on the back of, let me find the one here. Let's see, this like, it's like, like this texture. So what you see here is what you're gonna get in the embossing folder. Deborah, it really would be pretty on dark cardstock too. Really, can you imagine like a, a knight of navy behind that? But this is the embossing folder. Let me find a dark piece of paper here. There we go. And so it is a 3D one, so it's going to have nice deep texture when you emboss with that. And I think if you took white cardstock and just put your color on here and, or, you know, on one side and did your own, you could create this easily with your folder. 
but who doesn't want the other side? So you're a little more, uh, I'd be happier giving up the other side of this because I can create my own. And one last thing, I think I've covered, oh no, I did not cover everything, you guys, because we were able to get the celebration items too. But I have two more things to show you from the regular catalog. Let me just move all this aside. This also goes with, I forgot, the Dragonfly, the Dandy um, Garden set, and it's laser cut paper. So let's see this. I forgot to show you this with, with that, I'm sorry. So, and it's, it's kind of a, it's not chipboard, but maybe like a balsam wood. Let me see if it says. It doesn't say, it just says dandy laser cut paper, but it's, I, I mean, it's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe it is cardstock, but it has a really cool feel to it. But it's white with the brown. Um, if you guys use, hi Heather, if you guys use the gorgeous posies and you know how on the sentiment, let me see, I think I have one here. On the sentiment, it has like that little bit of a brownish tone. All right, I just put 15 sets of these together. But see how it has like the little, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, the brownish tone inside the die cut. And then this side is just white. That's kind of what this is like. And so you'll have, and so you could really take um, and use your, your, what would you use to color these? Let me think. All right, let's show you these first. So you've got your dragonflies, you've got your sentiments, leaves, your big borders, and your other ones. You've got these little flowers right here. But what about what about coloring them with this? Look at this. We have three of them. I've used blending brushes for a long time, so I'm anxious to try these. But these are really, really nice. They're really nice blending brushes. And no, it's not foam. It looks like foam. If you haven't used blending brushes before, it looks like foam, but it is... Um, little bristles, little tiny, tight, tight, tight bristles. So you can color these up. You're going to want to be careful of your little, your little things here, but, um, you know, it is, it is paper, but be delicate, be um, generous, but you could use these as stencils. Yes. Yes. Um, you could use your reinkers, put some color and spritz them. That would be another great way. There's so much you can do with these. So, so much. So that is cool. And now you have those. So with all of this that I purchased, I also was able to shop out of the celebration. So let me just show you what I got. So these are all going to be the $50 items. So if you don't know what celebration is for every Fifty dollars that you spend, you can you can shop out of the celebration catalog. And so, here's the mini catalog. If you are a customer of mine, you will receive a catalog. So if you'd like to shop with me to get your free catalog, um, go to marcybesker.com and you can click on shop with me, and I will add you, and you'll get your catalogs. You'll get both of these. So. Out of the celebration, every $50 you spend, you get an item for free. Now, there's also a $100 column. So if you spend $100, you can get two $50 items, or you can get one $100 item. If you spend $150, you can get three $50 items, or you can get a one $50 item and one $100 item. So it just has to add up to what you earn. So we have the corner bouquet. 
And what I would do with this is it could either be a background, like a silhouette. You've got the little flower that you can stamp and cut out and pop on if you want. You can also, I would use your Stamparatus. Put it on a Stamparatus, color all the green, two different kinds of green, three different kinds of green, and stamp it. Leave it on your Stamparatus. Go in and do some of the flowers. Stamp it. That way you can go back and get the image that you want. If you want it a lightly watercolored, a darker watercolored, whatever you want, um, just keep stamping it until you get it to look like you want. And it's way easier than you think. So that is a fun way. Or emboss it in gold or something on some fun paper or a dark color. I mean, there's so many things you can do. So that is one of my celebration sets. Here is a really fun birthday one approaching perfection the bad news is i forgot your birthday the good news is i forgot your age then you have the balloon and the candles happy birthday a nice bold happy birthday which i like so what if you're a year older you're fabulous how cute is that if things really do get better with age then you're approaching perfection so cute Newsflash, birthdays found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest. I've always thought that was a funny set. Ove, the wreath builder is a lot of fun. Love it. All right, so I got that. Then heal your heart. I really like this one. Um, it says we're in this together. So that's a really good one for anything. Um, just letting somebody know you're there, especially during these times. I mean, that's a really, a really nice sentiment. And the font is beautiful. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can always, oh, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Sorry for your loss. I don't know what I would do without you. Wishing I could heal your heart and thank you. So beautiful, a beautiful font. I love that one. That's a good one. Now, remember when I said at that, that um, mini messages, this little teeny tiny hello there or oh, happy day. What do you think if we put it with this? How cute is this set? Darling donkeys, you spend $50 in my store and you can get this for free. How cute is that? Of course, starting January, but. Hee-haw. I bet you if I asked my daughter or my son if they know what hee-haw means, they would say no. I, th You know what, um, Donna, isn't, I think, I think tomorrow at noon the PDF goes live for demonstrators. It's on the main page and it says, um, it, in one day and nine hours or something is the last time I saw it. So I think everybody's going to be able to see the catalog tomorrow if you're a demonstrator. Terry, right? Aren't these cute? And so anyway, look, hey there, friend. Look at the little rose. I, I kind of like this one. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, so cute. Okay, two more things. So the other thing, of course, my consumable item that I had to have because I love this, and I think this would go well with so many things, is this is the Oso oh Ombre 6x6, six six, and the colors are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, and Whisper White. I'm going to be making a lot more of my folders, I can see. Look at how pretty. So there's the Blackberry Bliss and the Rococo Rose. So you've got the circles and you've got the ombre. Okay, so those are the two different images. But when you turn them over, you've got that color and you have this color. And so you'll get the same, the circles and the ombre. I love these colors. So these are a lot of fun. Um, where's my circles? Let's see. 
or cocoa. So if you turn over this, you're going to get the, there you go. How cute. Love, 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 love. So there we go. That's all the selection of those. And then one more thing that I got on my pre, my celebration. So I guess I could put that there. Oops is one more pack of paper now this paper is called flowers and field designer series paper there are a couple of things i didn't get like i said my dragon i mean my um dandelion set is coming i don't know when it's coming but it's coming i don't know how i missed it on this order oh yeah i love the purple Okay, so this, I think these would be fun to cut out too and use. I love the black background. So it looks like we have patterns on one size. Oh, Donna, I'm sorry about that. That's a bummer. So we have pattern on one side, flowers on the other. I like the black background. I, polka dots, I'm all in. I love it. And then I love daisies, so that's really pretty. Kind of a daisy feel to it. I love this, so pretty. And I like the, look at the, looks like Bermuda Bay. And the leaves, how pretty. All right, so there's a lot of, I like the stripes. All right, so that is it, you guys. That is everything. Yeah, I like the DSP a lot too, but I have to say there are so many things that are, that we were not able to get yet that I am so looking forward to. So let's see if we can see anything on here. So on the celebration, you can see we've got a little bit of sneak peek. I can show you the catalog. So here we go. Um, there's some plaid. Let's see if you can see this. Okay, let me get a better light here maybe. Okay, so we've got the plaid and it looks like little strawberries. It looks like those might be seeds. So there's strawberries, blueberries, and berries like either raspberries or blackberries. You can see that there's punch party. So there's, um, it looks like some labels and some sets there, some stamps. Then here, this is the berry blessings and it's like blackberries or well, these are blueberries, but I think there's little blackberries or raspberries on that too. Look at here, a touch of ink. And I, I believe that is a million dollar stamp set. So um, I don't remember who. But this is um, Hummingbirds, which I just love. Here's some more DSP over here. Oh, I think it's too blurry right there. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so here we go. A little better look. You've got a punch for, for the strawberry set. And then here's the images. There's the, there's the berries with the blueberries. And sweet strawberries, you've got your little flowers and stuff that go. I know we're kind of cheating by looking on the catalog. I mean, looking on here. But here's some more purple Tashana in the berries paper. So that looks like it's a texture paper. And then this one looks like it has berries on it. So that's some sneak peeks there on that one. And then on this one, oh, I forgot to show you this ribbon. So this ribbon is right here and it goes with this set that I'll be playing with here very, very shortly. And I like to pull my ribbon out on the corner here so I can just keep it in my paper. But it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a linen and, but it has gold in it. It's really pretty. And I think this is really going to play off of the gold, um, the gilding that we're going to be playing with. So there's that set that we saw. Let's see what's on the back. 
And so I guess all we're going to see here is the paper, but look how cool the palette is there. So and the palette knife, so it kind of looks like they're painting that and somebody did paint those papers. So I think that's super cool. So there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys are interested in becoming a team member, I would love that. And the beginning of December, you could order all of your goodies from these catalogs. Oh, it's not a million dollar set. Oh, I thought it was. Well, thank you. See, I didn't, I was so overwhelmed when they showed everything. I was, oh, you know what that one was? That was one of the free ones given away. That's what I'm remembering. That was uh, one of the free uh, numbers that were chosen. Thank you. Thanks, Felicia. So um, if you'd like to become a team member, I'd love to have you. If you go to my blog, marcybessaker.com, on the top right hand side, it says join my team. And you can just click on there and look around, see what it's about. Um, you don't have to submit if you're not ready, but you can get a little detail there. You can get $125 worth of product for only $99. And like I said, on December, in December, first week, you can start purchasing your new goodies and you can see the new catalog tomorrow online. As a demonstrator, Vey, I believe the only thing is you're able to purchase a month ahead of time. So um, the first week of December, tomorrow you'll get to see the catalog. And then in December, you'll be able to start purchasing your items. Um, for customers, you can't purchase until January. So, and if you are not a demonstrator and you would like to order anything now or when the catalog goes live, um, I would love your business. I'd really appreciate it. And I do send out some fun cards to my customers and I give them specials also. Sorry, I'm getting text messages and comments coming in all about this. So um, if you want to get a catalog from me, I can send you these two catalogs if you become a customer. So if you can go on my, my shop and purchase, I will get these right out to you. Um, I think they ship on December the 9th. So um, that's the shipping day, but I will make sure you get on the list. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. Um, on my blog also, if you need any stamp and storage or you want to check it out, there's a link on there to go check that out. And yes, you get a discount if you become a team member. That You get a discount, you get the fellowship. There's a page with all of us demonstrators that just have so much fun creating, talking, asking questions. I, I will help you with whatever you need. And I will, um, I'm always around if you have any questions. I'd love for you guys to join me tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And I will be creating with some of the fun new stuff. And I'm going to create today. And I'll show you some of that tomorrow also. So that'll be a lot of fun. And I think that's it for the day. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Bye.